Hey guys, welcome to 365 Bible Stories and Prayers. Welcome to church. Uh, let's say a prayer before we begin. <laughs> Don't usually say a prayer, but it is children's church, so um, let's see. I have to get used to this book because I'm not really sure where things are. All right, uh, special days. Uh, it's a Sunday, so let's go to 352. Dear God, it's Sunday, your day, happy day, holy day. Thank you for the past week. Please help me enjoy next week with you. All right. Let's get into our story. Okay. This is the death and raising of Lazarus. Lazarus. So Jesus came to comfort. I think this was Lazarus's mom because Lazarus had died. Two sisters, Mary and Martha, and their brother Lazarus lived in Bethany near Jerusalem. They were all friends of Jesus. One day, the sisters sent an urgent message to Jesus. It said, Please come quickly. Lazarus is very ill. The disciples knew that Jesus loved Lazarus and his sisters. They felt sure that as soon as Jesus got the message, he would rush to help the family. But instead, Jesus stayed where he was, teaching and healing. Two days later, Jesus turned to his disciples and said, Now we will go to Bethany. The disciples were worried. They didn't want Jesus to go near Jerusalem. They knew that his enemies were plotting against him there. But Jesus was determined to go. When he and his disciples arrived at Bethany, Martha rushed out of the house to meet them. She was very upset because Lazarus had been dead and buried for four days. If only you had gotten here sooner then I'm sure Lazarus would not have died, she cried. Lazarus will live again, Jesus reassured her. I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will never really die. Do you believe this? I do, Lord, said Martha. I believe you are the Christ, God's son, and that you have come to give life that lasts forever to all who believe in you. Take me to Lazarus's grave, said Jesus. Mary and Martha led Jesus to the cave where the grave was. A large stone covered the entrance. Jesus ordered the stone to be removed. Then he prayed to God his Father. Then he called out, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus, now alive, walked out of the tomb. All right. The last story for this morning is plans to kill Jesus. Like I said, they're still at it. They won't leave him alone. <laughs> Many of the people who had come to Martha and Mary's house and seen what Jesus did believed in him. But some of them went to the religious leaders and told them what Jesus had done. Then the priests and the religious leaders had a meeting to discuss what they should do about Jesus. Here is this man, healing all these people and doing miracles. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him. This will be dangerous now that the Romans rule over us. They have a lot of power and will punish us by taking away our temple. Then one of the most important priests said to the others, We can't let this go on. It is better for one man to die for the people than for the Romans to destroy our entire nation. From that day onwards, the priests and religious leaders became even more eager to get rid of Jesus. They looked around for ways to do this and for people to help them. Then some of them began to see that they might get help from someone rather surprising. One of Jesus' disciples, his special group of close followers. One of this group was a man called Judas. He had hoped that Jesus would turn out to be a great soldier and drive the Romans away, but he was disappointed. In time, Judas decided to go and see the priests and officials. They will be waiting for him. 
So Judas was going to betray Jesus into the hands of these people that wanted to kill him. Uh, we'll see what happens the further we get into this story. But um, thank you for attending Children's Church. And um, your next stories are going to be Jesus Blesses the Children. And um, Jesus and Zacchaeus. <laughs> All right, let's find a prayer. Let me go to the glossary, since now I know, you know, where to go for prayers and stuff. All right. Animal blessing sounds good. 334, if you have a pet, we'll pray this prayer. All right. Hurt no living thing, lady bird nor butterfly, nor moth with dusty wing, nor cricket chirping cheerily, nor grasshopper so light of leap, nor dancing gnat, nor beetle fat, nor harmless worms that creep. That's a weird prayer, but it's basically a blessing on animals. Um... Thank you for attending. See you guys tonight.